So it turns out the Obama administration not only looked at Fox News chief Washington correspondent James Rosen's personal emails, but also Fox News executive phone records. I'm kind of insulted I haven't been investigated. What am I doing right? This boils down to one fact. The FBI enabled government access of Rosen's emails by signing an affidavit accusing him of a crime. They made it illegal to look for information, essentially criminalizing asking questions, which makes sense given how little the government cares to investigate big things like voter intimidation, ACORN, Fast and Furious, Pigford, and Benghazi. What difference does it make is the rallying cry of the willfully ignorant. So consider all the overlooked corruption going after Rosen seems like a cop ignoring a riot to chase a jaywalker. The government calling Rosen a co-conspirator is like Chris Matthews calling someone unstable. The big point, before exceptionalism was dropped in favor of Western guilt, it used to be us versus them, America versus its enemies. Remove the belief in our greatness and you've got a new duopoly, progressive government and anything that stands in its way. The enemies are now you and me, and we are a bigger problem than terror, which is nothing more than workplace violence. You see the thread? Any government who cannot identify evil becomes more likely to see evil everywhere. If we can blame a video, we can certainly find Rosen guilty of something, too. I never really liked him anyway. He keeps stealing my pens. <laughs> Your depends? Not my depends, Dana. My pens. By the way... Thank goodness uh, they didn't tap your phones. All they'd hear is Jasper this and Jasper that. <laughs> Not very interesting. No. I've then... actually never thought that James Rosen was that interesting a guy. <laughs> but now I'm going to have to change Whoa. my opinion. No, I mean, Whoa. I've known him for years. I, I was a press secretary when he was there and, as a reporter. And You're saying he's boring. Guy. I mean, he's just like, a, like the guy in the room. He's like, not, just some guy. Some like, no one I would ever think, like, oh, we should tap his phones because maybe he's got some secret information. He does a mean William Shatner impersonation. <laughs> he really does. Yeah. I do one, too. Really? I'll save it for later. <laughs> in defense of Rosen, he wrote a book about Watergate, which broke a lot of ground. Uh, yep. And, and How about the, ironic. Yeah, it is, right. Uh, but he is an investigative reporter, and I've read that book, and, and I thought I knew about everything about Watergate, and I didn't, and this had to do with John Mitchell. Uh, so I think uh, this we may be underestimating Rosen here as a reporter. And I was not, I was not being Yeah, funny. I mean, for the record, James, if you're no, listening, I, I, know I you find you to be wildly entertaining and very charming. I, 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 <laughs> I know you. I know you were joking, but I just wanted to make that point on Rose's behavior. James, I love you, and I love that picture you drew of me. In she the really doesn't room. mean that, James, but that's okay. Yeah. But <laughs> it's too late. But isn't that the point? If you read the affidavit, mm -hmm. it seems like the government was nervous about the way in which James Rosen was so kind and friendly mm -hmm. to Kim. Mm -hmm. If that is conspiracy because he's a nice guy, yeah. I mean, that's oh. one thing. He's a nice guy. It's not a criminal activity. But take yourself back to what was happening when all of this was going on, these three scandals, the Tea Party rallies, those town hall meetings. Christie had one in New Jersey. McDonald had one in Virginia. Scott Brown had one in Massachusetts. They had lost that legacy seat to Kennedy. All this was happening. Obamacare was happening. They were targeting whether it was uh, the AP scandal when they were going back to Fast and Furious or whether it was the IRS, the same people that threatened their power. Mm -hmm. That's the common thread. Well, this was, this was about North Korea. Let's keep that in mind. Oh, oh but no, no, no. Yeah, sure it was. Oh, it, it, no, Korea. it wasn't about yeah. North Korea. It wasn't about right. any of the other things. It was about the enemies list. It was about sending a clear signal that yep. they are stronger. They're no, I'm talking about control. Rosen. I am, too. The Department of Justice, with this ridiculous overreach, to call Rosen a co-conspirator. I read the search warrant. Here's what some of the things in the search warrant. Boxes checked. Evidence of a crime. Check. Uh, boxes checked. Uh, future uh, evidence of, of future crime, checked. Terrible. Intended to, uh, information uh, materials intended to, for use in a crime, checked. Punishable by up to ten years in prison. I mean, every reporter in it, every it, reporter in America should be guilty of the exact same thing. Yeah. That's right. He was doing his job, but when it was about North Korea. That was Kim. But the weird thing about the North Korea thing, what, the, what they said it's it was about, far bigger, bigger than North Korea, Bob. Than, it's far exactly. bigger. Exactly. Uh, but yeah. also um, on the North Korea piece, it wasn't as if there was an imminent threat to life. Okay, it wasn't like some, uh, somebody had a source and it was a terrorist who knew that there was going to be a building attacked and you're trying to track that down to prevent loss of life. This was about a nuclear weapons program maybe that's being built in North Korea, not really sure. I mean, it, what, it, there didn't seem to be any reason. The judge now has apologized for lack of transparency in the leak. <coughs> But the Obama Justice Department should have to apologize for the overreach and asking for the warrant in the first place. So, Which, so uh, Rosen is, is called a co-conspirator in this crime uh, for 
being a provocative, asking questions, doing his job. Yet when the New York Times puts on the front page details of Obama's kill list, how he decides who goes on it, who gets yep. killed and who doesn't, it's not investigated. When the details surrounding the bin Laden kill are leaked to every left-wing media site first, there's no investigation. No one's going to jail for that. No one's phones are tapped for that. But it, should we be surprised? I mean, it was uh, Obama's aides that were trying to delegitimize de FNC for so long yeah. that this. And by the way, the media really didn't seem to mind, did they? Yeah. I, and I, and I, they had. If you look at all the three scandals too, the the motive, mm -hmm. right? You could. Does it lead to President Obama's doorstep? We don't have a smoking gun, but there's motive for all three scandals. A motive to do all of them. Can I just make a point to go back to this Rosen thing? Just so I want to make sure we put this <laughs> yeah. on on. Here. He wrote online on Fox about the North Korean program. I know that. No yes, one's Bob. disputing so, that. So what are you suggesting that they suggesting used, that they found, picture. they went hunting for had everything nothing else? nothing to do with North Korea. I'm suggesting it had everything to do with uh, sending a signal to Fox and all the other reporters. Oh, I see. Who may I be see. not in, the, in okay. the world of uh, the Obama is, uh, it, you know. Is, is oblique as, a, a band word? It but could it's, be. It's the same yeah, well, thing with the AP bleak, scandal, right? though, Bob, right? A hundred phone lines. Yeah. Why such a big net? If they're going after whistleblowers, why the media? Why not the government employees? Why so big and so vast for one story or two stories? And then it calls into the whole Petraeus stuff. Why was, the, why was that scandal all of a sudden happening? Remember that question of, like, how did he get, how does he, his emails get revealed? Exactly. And then oh. all of a sudden, right around Benghazi, he has to, he has to leave. Hmm. Kind of well, that was that, that. Yeah, I mean, it's all was, weird. You got to blame the Obama administration for for Petraeus's uh, affairs. Is that what you said? No, what I'm saying is it, the timing now. Now advantage. you can look back and look at the timing, and it does. Okay. Seem weird. Yeah, so, right. so, so, can we make this clear? So, all these leaks, um, Rosen's, the North Korea, uh, the, the airliner, um, and, and the ones that New York Times got to kill us. All had to be leaked. So someone had to get that. Is Correct. the New York Times reporter a co-conspirator in that crime? Also, should he be? And who is the co? Who well, is the co? Is right, the co, but, but that's a question. But, but, Are they but, but, in the White House? The, 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 ben Rosen, <laughs> right. had, there's no reason for him to be, right. be brought up as a co-conspirator, and there will be, that, that thing will last in court five minutes. All right, mm. we've got to move on. At least we learned one thing, that Dan, Dana cannot stand James Rosen. <laughs> wow. I thought we were a family here. Okay. All right. A family.